bad busters. You know, for a lot of people, knowing Jesus and knowing that Jesus knows me or knows you is usually accomplished in feelings or some environment where a lot of feelings are communicative, communicative, communicative or incorporated by a group of people that you feel from them and the Holy Spirit and God himself inhabiting the praises of his people as well as being where two or more are gathered there he is in the midst causes in the coming together of people to be experienced in a personal and intimate way but that's corporate and for me when I do that like in church which is what we're discussing or in a small body of believers or in a home or where we're a seminar or some teaching or some participation of more than two people exists then that's me expressing my love to God and sure God responds and I feel him and I experience it and I enjoy it and it's worship and yada yada and prayer meetings whatever but for me the only time that I know in my heart that God really knows me and that breaks me down to just the transparency that he desires for me to have the tears that I enjoy weeping with him the fellowship that I have in a tender emotive way always comes when I'm alone it only experiences it when I'm tired or I'm worn out or I'm beaten down or I'm just hurting and suddenly God somehow knows and reaches down and just in that moment of wherever I am at the moment that I am lets me know in some of the most beautiful magnificent most awe-inspiring completely overwhelming emotion that he knows me more than anyone else one song said nobody knows me like you do you put your arms around me and you see me through there are many times I don't know what to do though some know me well nobody knows me like you and the fact is nobody knows you like Jesus does nobody can touch you in the way that he can and in your moment of deepest sorrow or agony in the moment of your deepest weariness that's when really Jesus is most evident in your life So, maybe, maybe, you don't feel so close to God right now. Maybe you feel far away, or maybe you think He doesn't see you. He does. He knows. And you know what? It's okay to feel what you feel. It's okay. In my utmost for his highest, does he know me? He calls by name. John 10, 3. When I have sadly misunderstood him, John 20, 17. It is possible to know all about doctrine and yet not know Jesus. The soul is in danger when knowledge of doctrine outsteps the intimate touch with Jesus. Why was Mary weeping? Doctrine was no more to Mary than the grass under her feet. Any Pharisee could have made a fool of Mary doctrinally, but one thing they could not ridicule out of her was the fact that Jesus had cast seven demons out of her. Yet his blessings were nothing in comparison to himself. Mary saw Jesus standing and knew not that it was Jesus. Immediately she heard the voice. She knew she had a past history with the one who spoke, Master. And she responded when she heard him speak. Does he know me when I have stubbornly doubted? John 20, 27. 
have I been doubting something about Jesus, an experience to which others testify, but which I have not had? The other disciples told Thomas that they had seen Jesus, but Thomas doubted. No, I don't think so. Except I shall see, I will not believe. Thomas needed the personal touch of Jesus. When his touch came, and how it came, we do not know. But when they do come, and when it comes to you, then you will know. Because even with Thomas, Jesus presented himself, and then he knew. And Thomas's reply will be yours in the same way at the time that God touches you. My Lord and my God. Does he know me when I have selfishly denied him? John 21, 15 through 17. Peter had denied Jesus Christ with oaths and curses. And yet after the resurrection, Jesus appeared to Peter alone. He restored him in private and no one knows what conversation they had. Then he restored him before the others Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. Have I a personal history with Jesus Christ? The one sign of discipleship is intimate, personal, and real connection with him. A knowledge of Jesus Christ which nothing can take, no one can shake. You may doubt, but God has made. So we rest assured that in our personal intimacy with God himself, his son, no one can take that away from us. It's like I keep telling people that, you know, you can tell me the world over all that you want or desire, but just give me Jesus. You tell me about Jesus and you have my attention. You tell me about doctrine and I'll eat you for lunch. You tell me about religion and I'll dine on you for dinner. But tell me about God alive in you. And I'll be silent and listen as you share with me the experience of God that you've had with the intimacy of Jesus in your life. And I will stand amazed and give glory to God our Father for all that he has done for you. Does he know you? God, he does, because he called you by name.